Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice playing some more Assassin's Creed Origins. We got a couple different things we're going to be doing today. Oh, oh just, yeah, we'll let you we'll let you go on about your business. Little doggy. Eh? Oh, it's up. Really? <clears throat> Lee of Serene. What is what? 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 Synchronize? That's a new one. We have to synchronize to start the mission? Maybe? Right? We have to drop down. <laughs> okay. Leap from the temple, Mister, speak to Ezio. Mister, over here. <laughs> Me? Uh, that uh. was the greatest thing I ever witnessed. And I once saw a snake swallow a cat whole. A cat? Really? And who are you? Ezio, please. But all my friends call me Ezio. Well, Ezio, I am Bayek. How did you do that? Are you magic? Will you leave some more for me and my friends? I can tell you about my home, the most amazing city of Cyrene as we go. How can I refuse such a gracious offer? Lead the way, Ezio. Me and my gang will give you the He's grand distracting tour, us. Bayek. You have a gang? Yes, well, let's go. I'm the most important child in Cyrene. I can see that, Ezio. Let's go to the bath. He's it's so where good with walk kids. Naked, being scraped and scratched and rubbed with oils. I hate getting my hair wet. Don't you, Bayek? It is why I shaved it off, Ezio. <laughs> and washing behind the ears, I bet. <laughs> yes, some fancy <gasps> Roman from the Citadel built it. Vivito. <gasps> well, anyway, he spent 10,000 drachma on a floor made of little squares. All of that for some way you wash. When I grow up, I'm going to have a wife who'll never make me wash. Ew. Wives like that are hard to find, Desio. <laughs> and then once you find them, do you really want them? Oh, we're going to do some more leaping. But I never doubted you. I wasn't sure myself, Ezio. So where next? You're Egyptian, right? My father says you don't worship the same gods as we Greeks. We have some in common. I have never like seen Serapis. the like. Oh yes, Serapis. I've heard it's of him. Apollo right? is all Greek and he my favorite. Air, he likes like poetry, eagle. music, oh. wine, and all that kind of stuff. But I like him because he has a bow and arrow and he likes to hunt. Do you like to hunt, Bayek? I do. I used to hunt with my boy, Ezio. If you jump from his temple there, then maybe he'll be watching from Mount Olympus and reward me with my own bow and arrow so I can hunt rabbits in the woods. I would like to see that. Get it! Get off me on the... This is it! Isn't Apollo marvelous? We're all watching. I can't watch. Tell me when it's over. He's so brave. Have you ever seen someone so brave? So brave. No! And I'm the one who found him. I know. Oh, that was it, huh? It worked. Now. It worked. You did it! You did it! Oh. Alfred Bayek does the impossible! Livia Let's Livia go to the next Livia jump. Livia I have Livia. one last leap in mind for you, Bayek. Are you ready for your greatest I challenge? Not, I hate greatest well, challenge I hate ever. You. you think I can do it? I believe you can do anything, oh. Bayek. I'm glad we joined Ezio's gang. 
This is oh, unbelievable. Oh, oh. This is Wait till I tell my sister. Bayek! Mouse? They are going to kill me! <gasps> Shut up! You're convicted of murder! They have the wrong uh, man! Uh, oh, I'm as innocent as a babe! What trap has the mouse fallen into now? Hold on, mouse. Well, you did promise a challenge, Essio. One at a time. No allowed up there except the Romans. But you look hmm? like you can handle a few measly bucket heads. Are you ready, Bayek? I present the Acropolis. Mm, guards here are vigilant. Continuous hmm. fratres. Caliste. Confute. Uh, Stop crowding him! Stop crowding! He's not your slave! He's an important man with important things to do! Farewell, Bayek! Come back when I'm older and we'll get married! Aww. Do you think with practice we could leap like that? I will not forget this day, Bayek. We should honor it. I officially name you the Flea of Cyrene! Because <laughs> he can jump. <laughs> I will treasure it. Goodbye, Essio. Stay out of trouble. I can't promise, but I will try for you, Great Flea. I hope you get to hunt with your son again soon. So do I, Essio. Feathers, the obvious! Scatter! Scatter, children! Flea, I told my sister about you, and she forgot all about Theocles. Look, everyone, it's the Flea of Cyrene! All right. What's next? I'm gonna pet, pet our little, pet a bird. There you go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. We need to collect this. Do that one. We need that. We need that. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do this one. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Do that one. You don't need to watch that one. Um, and I'll be right back. Are you protected? All right, we're back. If you have a moment. The fate of our founder is at stake. The founder? I am not a Philaketai. I am a Medjai. Oh yes, of course. I should have noticed. These people don't understand. Our Roman friends do not take kindly to civil disobedience. Why are they protesting? They fear all is not well with our founder, the great Batos. Batos? The centurion locked his tomb. Some say he desecrated the dead in there left a scrawled note on the door and sauntered back to the Acropolis. Please, someone should investigate without alerting the Romans. And if that someone were to find anything, they could meet me here, and I'd be happy to help. Huh. The Romans have no respect. Did you find anything? Is he a Roman or an Egyptian? By order of the proconsul, the tomb of Bados is closed by order of the people of Rome. Anyone found attempting entry will be dealt with severely. Centurion Cassius Albus. Well, we'll just have to find a way in there. Is there a window of any sort? <laughs> tomb of Bados. It's quite a tomb there, Bados. <clears throat> Gotta get that scroll anyway. The Greeks also treat their dead with great honor. And now, they suffer like Egyptians. What? I'm very confused. Is there something else in here? All right, gained a level. Now we can go collect some scrolls. We'll go collect some scrolls after this. Get some uh, weapons that are closer to our level, hopefully. Hmm. Investigation area. The Oracle at Delphi gave the people of Thera a prophecy that by Apollo's bidding must they make a new home in Libya? 
but the people did not follow her and not a drop of rain fell for seven years. The father of the Batia dynasty, Aristoteles Batos, the first visit, I visit the oracle again, lead the Therans to the land where there is a hole within the sky. It is Zeus, Zeus's garden, a place of great prosperity and bounty. So did Batos the first take his most trusted men to settle a new life and fair serene. What's the hole in the sky? What do they mean by that? Empty. Drunk and stupid is a troublesome combination. Hmm. Yes, very stupid. Not gonna light it? Hello? Thank you. What? Are you gonna say anything? No? <laughs> Please tell me it's not a uh, glitch. The founder must have been buried with these treasures. What treasures? The relics are gone. The bone medallion are gone. The Romans are little more than tomb robbers. The Greeks are learning what it feels like to be Egyptian. Have your land, your dead, and your relics desecrated by an invading force. Mm. I get it Have now. The Romans no respect for the dead. The tomb's been ransacked. The Romans were looking for something. And they found it. The Romans took the relics to the Acropolis. How do we get out of here? Can we just go out the front door? No, we cannot. We gotta climb up. grab that. In fact, let's do that now. It's right here. I think this is just an extra one, too. I don't think this is like... Carbon crystals! Need all the carbon crystals we can get. In fact, I think we have enough for... Nope, we need one more. We're not going to go for the tools right now. There's two. Now, have I been here before? This area is off limits. Do a little flesh decay. <laughs> oh, 
there's a the mouse is here too. That's not it. I gotta go down. Ratos medallion. Glad to see the relics returned. Do we look prohibited? He'll never know. Your suspicions were well founded. The Romans took Bato's treasure. You have their relics? I do. They were not given the respect they were due. Those filthy desecrators. I will keep Bato's medallion safe. Legend says if it leaves the city, so will our fortunes. And Dibo? It longs to be in the service of Sarinaica again. Please, keep it. And maybe teach the Romans a lesson in honoring the dead. Huh. huh. Gladly. The Founder sent you to us. Farewell, Magi. Huh. Let's see, where was the mouse? <laughs> Oh, he's down here. He's being moved. Thank you, Sir Bayek. Get me out of this bloody cage. Uh, I'm hurt. Well, I'll There's take a it. Real murderer out there. He's killing my friends. Slow down and tell me what happened, Mouse. That was a glitch. I'll be I happily. I was at the bathhouse, meeting some associates. And suddenly, a legion accosted me. Didn't you plead your innocence? They wouldn't listen. They accused me of killing Paulus Aurelius, the moneylender, gutted like a pig. Red hair in his fist, not my hair. I met with him, yes. But when I left the baths, he was very much alive. Drinking and whoring as usual. I am many things, but not a killer. It is all right, Mouse. I believe you. But the Romans will not believe a cripple and an Egyptian. Have faith. Stay low and wait for me at the gardens of the Temple of Zeus. There may still be clues to the real killer at the bathhouse. Well, we'll head over there then. Alright, so I got distracted. And now we're all the way down here. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea to go for the weekly uh, Sekhmet guy while I was at full everything. And now we got distracted and we're finding this Whoa. old... No! What the heck? What the heck are you doing, bruh? Oh my god! Oh my god, I bit... No! No! To the real killer at the bathhouse. Yeah, I know. We got distracted by something. Come on now. What the heck? That was redonkulous. Seth and at tomb. Find the ancient tablet. Whoa. I'm gonna do this here first. There's two of them, huh? All right. 
that was quite annoying. Yeah. What's that up there? Whoa. Is that telling me to go up there? <clears throat> it's quite funny when you think about it, honestly. <laughs> Very humorous. <clears throat> what is he stuck on? This does not look like Egyptian. Yeah, look at that. Some objects can be moved. More than one. See that one's going there. Just gotta follow it now, right? Without <clears throat> killing myself. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. There's two up there. Yeah. Is it faster to just go up top? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, looky. They wanted to give me a little... A tip from my work. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I need you. That is not what I thought it was. I always think those are carbon crystals. But they're not carbon crystals. Oh. <clears throat> Oops. Kill the spiders. Did I already get that one? Or is that just... <clears throat> is that the moving in around one? Nope. <clears throat> Walked right by it. Oh, I don't know what it was for though. This is an interesting one. Have I been over there? Huh. There's nothing here. Wind. Sandstorm coming. <clears throat> what are you doing, brah? <clears throat> Bro. 
already been here. The wind rises, and the sand with it. Wind is picking up. I keep saying that. Not good. Okay, I got to get over there in a bit. get down here safely I should that'll be safe enough safe enough Hoping there'd be something behind it. Sandstorm coming. Where's my horsey? That wind will raise the sands. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Did I go in there? <clears throat> I can't tell. Yes, I sure did. One of the ones I thought I missed. <clears throat> and this Whoa. was the other one. But there's nothing in this one. Okay. <clears throat> now, what is my goal? Let's see. I need to go to where that light is shining. That is the entrance. Whoa. What have I walked into? Ancient writings. Ancient writing. From the, From the old, old kingdom. kingdom. Alright, ability points all around. You get an ability point! You get an ability point! These are very important.
What's this? Glory be to Osiris Unefer, the great god within Abydos, king of eternity, lord of the everlasting, keeper of the scales, who path, passeth through millions of years in his, in his existence. Guard these fallen warriors, heroic souls who died defending the eternal kingdom. Grant them splendor in heaven, might upon earth, and triumph in Netherkirt. Grant them cakes and ale. They go with their leader, the great general, Amneher. How did they even contemplate millions of years at that point? Wow. We're not disturbing the dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Not setting them on fire or anything. Is that a snake? Do I hear snakes? <clears throat> Place five to activate. Retransmission. Segment five. Acquiring contemporary aid. It has been 105 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. The color blue. We believe everyone sees it as we do. Ocean. Sky. International climb blue. What's to say yours and mine are of the same hue? I've thought that for years. Do you truly see it as I do? Frequencies so high only a few can hear their cue. A heightened response to the taste of food. Colors invisible to the human eyes save for a few. A high voice perceived as living glass. Perceptions shape reality. Color blindness. Tinnitus, super tasting, tetrachromacy, synesthesia. I don't know what tetrachromacy is, or synesthesia. Reality is a mathematical model which gets solved over and over again by the observer. Your thoughts are computations. Damn. And they render this world for you to call your own. We create our own reality. Not all processors are alike. But we do program our, our computers. Different grains produce different realities. The variations go from the subtle to the drastic. Your mind defines how much you can taste, how much you can feel, how much you can understand. Perception defines perspective. Where one sees a skull, the other sees a woman in a mirror. Where one hears silence, the other will hear entrancing voices. You experience what your brain allows you to perceive. Wow. We designed you and made sure to engineer your senses so you could perceive just what we needed you to. Neither more nor less. There are parts of time we preferred you to remain blind to. It was a necessity. We have six senses, you have five. Can you guess the one missing? Time perception? They're not going to tell us. For centuries, humanity has fought for freedom. The real cage is not around you, it is in you. Your mind will not allow you to wander in uncharted territories. A Faraday cage for the mind. A concealed straitjacket. 
Events such as Upsweep and Julia fuel internet conspiracies. Sounds unknown, heard only once. A cabinet of curiosities for the modern age. And yet, they were messages just like this one, waiting for their server, their compatible processor. Human visionaries developed a vague awareness of their limits. They wrote obscure research papers, popular science fiction novels, some asking us to stop the world. But that's all they ever were, fictions. How could they not be? Reality is what the observer allows it to be. The Doppler effect, the Mobius strip, deja vus, Cicada 3301, UVB 76, Eureka effects, ambigrams and anamorphosis, P versus NP. Well, we'll have to research half of those. Is Schrodinger's cast dead or alive? It all depends on what you perceive, on what the cage is not hiding for you to see. Think. Think. Let your mind be free. Explore the borders of your reality. Hardcore. Wow. So, um... Here's one thing. A Faraday cage or a Faraday shield is an enclosure used to block electromagnetic effects. Magnetic fields. Uh, electromagnetic fields. A Faraday shield may be formed by continuous covering of conductive material, or in the case of a Faraday cage, by mesh of such materials. Named after Michael Faraday. compass can still work inside because it can't block slowly varying magnetic fields such as the earth's magnetic field wow because the compass will still work inside interesting very interesting stuff very heavy thinking stuff too I am the great general Amner, thought the king of eternity is with me. I am the great god in the boat of the sun. I fought against the Nubians. I took from them their most revered prince and kept the pygmy as a prize. Men weep and women bewail, for I am gone from this realm and sail to the next. Oh, I would have missed that one. <laughs> oh, look at this one just sitting in the middle of the floor. Thought I would have walked right by it. I'm missing that's far away. All right, looks like we've completed. Whoa! They fought against people when they got here. Whoever this was, Giza.
Hmm. Oh, is that something? Right over there. Nice. Did I miss this one? Huh. Alright, well, I think this is a fantastic place to pause it, y'all. As always, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. And remember to keep moving forward!